What's up, everybody? This is Patrick1969, and we're doing an MSIA review. No, this is an MSIA. That's silly. This is a Robot Damashi review, and let me just say, I am now using my new camera, and uh, it looks, looks okay. I'm looking at it through the nice big screen, and it looks pretty pretty good. I don't know if I'm filming in 4K or not, but uh, still. Anyways, we're taking a look at the MS14S. I guess the S is special. I don't know. Uh, Gelgu. Now, this is Char's custom Gelgu. It's red instead of its weird grayish color. But uh, this is a Robot Damashi or Robot Spirit, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, number 238 in the Gundam line. This is uh, from the original Mobile Suit Gundam. And let me just say, uh, I haven't really taken a good look at this figure, but, uh, you know, testing out this camera, I decided why not do it on camera and have it all just recorded. Anyways, there is the side of the box. It shows the Gelgu with its shield on its back. Anime version, of course. Uh, then we have the back of the box. MS-14S Gelgu Char's custom model. Shows the figure in all its uh, little dynamic poses, some of its articulation as well, and some of the scenes that you've seen. Oh, man. This mobile suit in the anime. Um, so now we take a look at the other side. <laughs> and then we see all the... Uh, panel showing all the features. Uh, I guess the Gion uh, will be coming out soon, so you're gonna be able to battle the two, and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and open the box and take a look inside. First thing I want to go ahead and throw out there is that this fucker is huge. Uh, not only do we get the uh, clamshell that has the figure itself and its accessories, but we get another shell, uh, a little smaller, thinner one, with more accessories. Wow, that is a lot of uh, beam effect parts. That is really cool. Well, here he is, and I have to say, he doesn't look half bad. Looking at this figure, you know, he's not as chunky as I had imagined. Uh, all I can really go on is what I remember from the original MSIA version. He was kind of fat in the midsection. The skirt armor kind of pointed out a little more in the back. But, uh, no, not at all. This guy is a little bit slimmer, a little bit tougher looking, and this is definitely the anime version. Uh, not a whole lot going on in terms of sculpt. We got vents around the skirt midsection there. Uh, I think this was the cockpit right here in the middle. Uh, and then we have some vents up top. Huh. Yeah, not too much going on, really. It's, uh, it's basically a red Gelgoog. Surprise, surprise. Wow. So anyways, I hope you can tell uh, and see all the nice details on this figure with the new camera at work. Uh, looking at it through the screen, it looks pretty damn good. Wow, I'm really impressed. And uh, yeah, there's the head. Not too bad, let's get a little bit closer. Yeah, I like it. Let's go ahead and move into accessories. Oh boy, I might have to be really quiet because we have company in the other room, but I'm going to try my best not to uh, not to go too crazy. Uh, anyways, uh, looking at these accessories, you can see some of them on the screen. Wow, we get a lot. Let's start with the basics, shall we? Of course, we get the uh, old trusty shield here, and it does have a nice little handle that's on a ball joint there. Uh, not too uh, hefty, pretty thin, actually. You know what? I'm always thinking back to that MSIA version where it was all big and thick and fat, and that's what she said. Uh, anyways, moving on to the hands. We have a tree rack for the hands. Now, including the uh, somewhat closed fists that are on the figure already, we have one, two, three, four extra pairs of hands. We have some uh, beam saver, or what are they called? Hey, hey, Naganog? I can't remember. It's Beam Saber uh, Hilt Holding Hands. We have some open expression hands, Very nice open palms here, and then some uh, what looks like grabbing, you know, open hands. And then we have some sarcastic air quote hands uh, shown here, and of course you can also be used to hold a beam rifle, but uh, you know what? I like sarcastic hands more. Speaking of beam rifle, though, look at this one right here. Man, and it always goes back to that MSIA version. It looks a hell of a lot smaller and uh, shorter. No, I should say shorter because this is considerably larger than the uh, MSIA version. But this looks shorter than the original, than what I, we remember. But uh, nice, 
hefty. The scope is painted. We'll bump the camera a little bit. Moving on, we have the Beam Saber Hilts, or Hey Naganaga, or whatever the hell it's called. Now we have three different modes here. Let's see, can I get a mill in correct portion? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we have the deactivated version here, where I'm assuming you put use this version to uh, store onto the mobile suit. Put that off to the side. We have it... Okay then. Uh, we have the, um, what I'm assuming is more of the Beam Saber Sword uh, variant or uh, mode, as you will. So that's where it's a little bit extended and a little bit longer. And then we have the long extended version uh, that has uh, longer, thicker blades on either end. And I will show you those uh, thicker blade attachments now. So here we have the uh, thicker blades that would probably attach to this version of the hilt. And yeah, they just snap in there real nice and easily. A nice tint to the beam effect parts. I like it a lot. Not too bad. Let's get that in frame. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm assuming they're pretty fragile. Whoa, didn't know that came apart. Uh, so be very careful with your own figure's effect parts. I just dropped mine. Wow. Brilliant. Oh, there it is. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and get the uh, medium size beam hilt. And let's put in the beam saver sword effect parts. And uh, we'll just put it on both sides. And I can't fool. There we go. So yeah, that's how that looks. Not too bad. Can you break this apart too? Yep, you can. Look at that. Cool. Now, you would think that'd be the end, right? Nope, you're absolutely wrong. You get another pair of beam, effect, beam saber effect parts. That's what I'm gonna pretty much call these. These are to recreate the swooshing motion. So you would get your long, oops, long effect part here. Attach it there. And then we go ahead and we attach it to this side here. And there you go. Yeah, recreates that swooshing, whoosh kind of, kind of, you know, effect. You know, going at the Gundam like that. Anyways, last but not least, we do get some uh, uh, thruster beam effect parts or thruster effect parts, uh, like shown or like sh so, like shown. God, I can't talk. Uh, probably why I shouldn't drink before reviews. Anyways, uh, we get four of these thruster effect parts. We've kind of seen them before. I mean, it's the same attachment piece, but these are just kind of a little bit bulkier because these can fit either onto the uh, figure's feet uh, or pretty much just the feet or maybe underneath the skirt on those thrusters. So we have those. Now, last but not least with the effect parts, and I just said that already, we also have this beam rifle effect part that we can go ahead and attach to the barrel of the rifle. And now we have it looking like it just shot out a beam. So that's really cool. Uh, we also get a figure stance uh, apart. I'm assuming this is for when you use this piece, maybe? I don't know. I have to look it up. But we also get a mobile suit effect part. And uh, I'll be showing you this later. It's obvious it's battle damaged, so that's very cool. I do wish there was a little bit more paint on it. Why am I doing that? This camera automatically focuses. It's that good. But yeah, I just wish there was more paint on it. And you can see all the detail there. Very nice. Let's go ahead and go into articulation for the figure, shall we? Now one thing I forgot to mention is that you do also get an extra captain's crest or captain's antenna for this uh, unit with the accessories, but really that's boring news. Uh, who cares about that? And uh, you'll probably just lose it anyways, like I uh, assume I will. Anyways, taking a look at the uh, articulation here, this Gelgoog has pretty much exactly uh, what you'd see from a high, high grade version. Uh, starting with the head, we get a full 360 rotation. Uh, you do have the option to take the top off and move the mono eye around. It's a little stiff because I did just take this guy out of the package, but his eye can move. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Man, you gotta love that 
clear crystal resolution that I'm seeing on this end of the camera. Anyways, uh, going off into the shoulders, they can pull forward just a little bit, and they don't pull back very much, but uh, you can see that the chest is nice and, and pushed out. Anyways, moving on, you do get full 360 rotation, and you can lift the arm about that high before the head starts getting in the way. You can get a rotation in the bicep, nice and then the uh, shoulder armor does move as well it can be forced down uh, moving on to the elbow you do get a nice bend and yeah there is kind of a double joint action going on so you do get a double bend in the elbow uh, does this come off yeah it does look at that just like the MSIA version so I'm assuming that is when you had the Yelgu cannon release uh, web shop exclusive I think it was anyways moving on to the hands you get full th rotation there it is connected on a ball joint it doesn't really yeah there you go it does move quite a bit at the wrist uh, then we get some nice torso articulation moving forward there can it move back so oh wow quite a bit that is that is a way that is that is a wide bend. Anyways, uh, you get articulation in the torso from the top and from the bottom of the midsection. And then uh, moving on to the legs. Does this skirt armor move? Not really. Well, wow. Oh, it does move. Look at that. So you can have a nice high kick like so. And then you get a double bend in the knee. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So there is no articulation in the leg uh, meeting the hip. So you can't really move it, but you do get uh, you get some movement right there at the ball joint, meeting the uh, the leg and the hip. Uh, moving on to the feet, you do get some articulation there. You can point the foot upward like so, and you can bend the toes. Can you? Oh, oh and you can pop out the foot as well. Yeah. You can bend the toe a little bit. It's kind of hard there. Well, you can bend it out that way, but you can bend it upward a little. So um, a lot of articulation. But it, like I said, it's basically what you would see. Can you pull the skirt armor down? God, there it goes. Uh, skirt armor does kind of just push upward. Uh, the back armor doesn't. But yeah, basically what you would see on a high grade version. And of course, this little back piece does pop open. It's really hard, but I'm assuming, yeah, there it goes. Does that pop out? No, it's just the top here. So you can put the shield up there. And then this part opens up as well. It doesn't want to do it though on camera. So I was able to figure out how uh, the uh, rack for the hilt is opened up. You basically have to uh, push it downward and it will fold right out. So just gotta do that a little bit. And there you go. Kind of ingenious. Uh, we haven't seen that before, I don't think on a robot damashi so uh, nice to know now another little miracle of folding technology is placing the shield this thing onto the back of the galgoog and it is uh, a lot a lot cooler than i originally thought uh, so we go ahead and flip that portion open and i thought that there was going to be some sort of peg that just fits inside there not at all you go ahead and just fold that out and Boom, look at that. So not only can you go ahead and place the uh, shield, but I think you can also put the hilt and whatnot in there and uh, pretty much whatever has a, re a, a handle. You can go ahead and, come on, go in there. You're probably gonna have to take the handle off first, so let's try that. Placing the, yeah, there we go. So we go ahead and place the handle down and I'm sure it can go in a little bit more and then we put back on the shield and there you go. So now the Gelgoog has its shield on its back. And I went ahead and switched out the arm for the battle damaged accessory. It was actually very easy and I was quite surprised. But there you see Char's Gelgoog battle damage and I'll show you how to replace the arm and uh, or take this battle damage piece off and put the arm back on. God, I hope I can do this on screen. So anyways, it's as simple as popping it off the ball joint. That's all you gotta do. And then you go ahead and you just snap that back on and wow. Okay, that's on. That's that's amazing. And I'm assuming you can do this from the, for the uh, left or the right arm 
it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, very cool accessory, very well detailed. I just wish it had some damn silver paint, you know, some scorch marks on it. It just looks too damn clean. Oh man, what a shame. Yeah, not too shabby. It is not too heavy either. It's not, yeah, it's kind of pulling it, whoa, oh, drop something. There it goes. Uh, it does not really pull it forward all too much, as much uh, as I expected it to. But uh, yeah, very nice. I love, I really like this effect part. It is probably the best part of uh, all the effect parts. Well, that and the, uh, the uh, beam, uh, saber effect parts whatever can't figure out the name right now but uh yeah i like it a lot let's go ahead and show off the hey naganagi or naganaguru nagaizu whatever let's show it off now of course there had to be some sort of downside to all these effect parts uh especially with the beam weaponry uh these things are shaped very precisely they have a hexagon shape on the uh, uh peg of the beam effect parts and so you have to put it onto the hilt perfectly otherwise it's going to uh, stress the plastic and I can already tell that it is starting to turn white and so can you yep it's starting to turn white and it kind of looks like there's a crack in it so uh, I will not be taking these out again so that is kind of sad I really really like these uh, parts but you know, you live and you learn. Uh, now, to put on the hilt or place the hilt inside the uh, hand, all you gotta do is whoop, pry it apart, and uh, yeah, they just come together like so. And you can already imagine how you have to put these together. You're no stranger to this whatsoever. Now, again, this was where a rotating base display would come in handy, but unfortunately, we haven't gotten that yet or been able to find a good one. Uh, needless to say, this is the end of the, of the review, and it's time to go into final thoughts. This figure is not the most exciting, but it's not the most uh, depressing at all. Uh, it is a fair release, but given the price, I really wish there was a more, there was more bang for the buck. We did get a good chunk of plastic with all those accessories, um, beam effect parts, uh, thruster effect parts, hands, uh, you know, we, we got basically what we'd expect from a Gelgoog. I just wish there was a little bit more, maybe another, uh, battle damaged effect part, maybe, I don't know, maybe a little mini char, I, I just, I can't put my finger on it, but this wasn't very, um, appetizing you know I haven't gotten a good Domashi in a while and unfortunately this is not helping me I really want something exciting I want something cool and uh, this was kind of a letdown so I don't have the highest hopes for the Gion when that comes back in or when that uh, shows up probably I think next month is that next month the Gion, uh, the Gion? Gion? I can't I can't say it without putting a funny little thing at the end of it. Uh, but anyways, this was a fair release and it was, I guess, a pretty um, good choice to test my camera out on. And so I apologize if this wasn't the best review uh, possible and if it ran a little bit long, but I'm just trying to get used to the whole thing again, you know, talking to myself, showing off the figure and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. So yeah, hit the like, dislike, comment, tell me what you thought if I should have shut the hell up or just shown the figure a little bit more and uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.